Hi peeps, how you doing? World's gone crazy. Pour yourself a cup of cuppa and join me for this little talk we're gonna have. A little tete a tete. Head to head in French, tete a tete. Tete au tete. You know, I grew up in New Hampshire, so with um, Quebec, Canada, not so far away, you know, we learned French. I say to my boyfriend when I'm with him, my guy, this guy, voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Oui, oui. So, these are my thoughts on the virus, the latest virus. My advice is not to name it the official name. Take the power away. Don't fucking name it. And have some disdain for it. But by all means, be sensible. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look up psychosomatic illness. Psychosomatic the human being is programmable. Program yourself. Deprogram yourself in the programming. Control, alt, delete. The wetware software that would have you do any self-destruction programs. I personally want to live. I like life. I like it a lot. I have a lot of creative things I do. I've got a daughter. I have a son. They, they're only like, in, they're not even just, like they're 30 almost, 31. There's a whole decade ahead of my daughter to have children if she wants them. Should be a good mother. My son, I mean, come on, he, you know how guys are. and But he's got a wonderful wife. I love her. They would make beautiful kids together. They both have German DNA. Those Germans. They do so many things well. So, I was thinking how funny it is that there are so many public events <laughs> that are canceled. I mean, the St. Patty's Day Parade. I, I did a recording. I, I can't even post it because it was like, oh yeah, as of now, we still have St. Patty's Day. Nope. See, I might, if that video ends up being true, of course I can post it. But in the meantime, I don't want to be one of those people that say really, really uncompassionate stuff, shit, on the internet. And then someone listens to it. And it hurts them. I don't want to do that. Any human being that's taken down by this virus and their family has to deal with it they're dealing with some real shit what I'm talking about is here we are March 2020 and it's time to celebrate the earth because one of the biggies that is happening right now the human consciousness doesn't know it why do you think we were hit with this cano with this virus now why why do you think because it's the threshold to the <laughs> golden era. We're heading into the golden era, folks. This is the end of the Kali Yuga. Not the end of life. The world's not going to blow up. Life is that we know it's not going to be over. But it's the end times. But, but it's not the ending. This is the never-ending story. This is the never-ending story of your life and your incarnation and the bad guys have been the bad guys for a very long time. And the shift is about to hit the fan. Well, disengage from the news. I'm not going to lecture you. This is what I have to say. It's really good news. To me, this is good news. Um... If you don't name something, it doesn't have power over you. Have you noticed how they wanted to take the new novel, 
virus, that's the coronavirus means the novel. This one crowns them all, or whatever it means. This is the novel new one that we haven't seen yet. This is the new novel. This is my novel. I wrote this novel. It's a novel idea. It's the novel virus. It's the next thing they've written. It's in the, his story. So we're living history. Do you want to make history? Do you want to be history? <laughs> it's laughable. But it's also scary for so many people. Tune out of it. This is what I have to say, which is kind of funny. People are going to have to, they can't go to the parade, they can't plan for this, they can't play for, plan for that. They're going to have to have face-to-face -face conversations or something. Now that's scary. <laughs> What's scarier? It's time to have face-to-face, heart-to-heart, tete-to-tete conversations with your people. Not the kind that are scary, but the kind that are meaningful. What to do if? At the same time, think about this one. I like this thought. <clears throat> People have more time on their hands. What are they going to do with that time? Meaning... It would have been spent going to the parade. And maybe they would have had a day drunk going because it's St. Patty's Day in America where this video is, which is now canceled, like so many cities across America. If I were a small town, I would still have a parade, and I would advise all those individuals who have identified with the official name of the novel new germ they've thrown at us because that's what they are doing. It's being thrown at us. We're test subjects and there's a culling. Point blank, folks. There's some evil forces running the planet and they just want to cause some fuck up -edness. They want people to die. I don't know why. I don't even know who they are other than if you're listening this far, you've had that impression too. And you've probably have done a lot of reading, a lot of researching, a lot of internet searching, a lot of soul searching. Decades. I've been doing this for decades. In high school, I knew there were watchers. Which brings me to the watchers. In this book, which I don't endorse, um, there's information that's really good. And there's information on the watchers. And I'm going to read it for you. So, <clears throat> first, let me just um, take what I just spoke to you about and then bring it to a conclusion and then move on to this subject. Um, I like that people are going to have to have that come to Jesus moment with themselves. They're going to spend more time with themselves. This is a chance for you to really dust off the bookshelf of your life history, of your life story, and to take a look at um, what it is that you're not proud of. I mean, there's so many things that I have done that I can look back at and go, oh, man, I hurt people. And yet, at the same time, <clears throat> it needed to happen. I regret I hurt people. I regret I hurt my children when I divorced their father. But I had to. 
I should never have married him in the first place, but then I wouldn't have had Ryan, my son, named him after Orion, the warrior. My daughter is Hesper, named after Hesperus. My stage name was Electra, one of the stars of the Pleiades. I'm very attached to that constellation. I've always, always, always have been. Who doesn't look at Orion the warrior and his little dog Cyrus on the North Star and not feel something? <sighs> Wistful? Sad? You know, like, as if maybe they, the star nations there, got snafu'd by this virus too? And that's why I'm going, okay, so the whole Assetti Ranch thing, James Gilead, which he still believes in the life review, and I don't. I don't believe in the life review. I think the life review is a snow job to get you to agree to come back here with more and more karma and really shitty things to work off. I mean, like life is, life is hard enough, but if you have to have like extra karma to work off because you agreed to it, like, okay, for instance, I had an impression from a last past life that I was responsible for a king's death because I, in past life, I didn't have a regression, excuse me, at the burp. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is my own um, recollection of myself. And I'll go back to when I was younger, and I'll, I'll connect it to the Watchers, and, and I'll connect it back to celebrate the Earth and to the spring equinox coming up, um, and uh, Oester, which was why Easter was replaced. All the religious holidays stamped onto ours. Um, and I don't even know what ours are anymore, and they're even diluted. And Wiccan is different than paganism, and blah, blah, blah. I think I lost my train of thought. So, it'll be in the notes if I did. Otherwise, let me just say this. The main part that I recognized when I was thinking before I made this video, because I wasn't going to do any video, because I was going to actually just like reclusively go into my little meditation space and do my own work on myself and do my own control alt delete programming of any self-destructive programs that's when I recognize that if you name the virus the latest virus du jour, du jour which is another French term it will give it more power so keep calling it the coronavirus and then do La Corona, and and then drink Corona beer. Like drink Corona beer. Like there are no, there is no tomorrow because there might not be for some people. Get some fucking limes. Put them on your Corona beer. And do the La Corona. What is that La Roma? What's that? You guys know what I'm getting at? Whatever that La Corona is. <laughs> Here is it. The human mind is so powerful, you can create a disease for yourself. <laughs> Out of your mind. That's why it's called psychosomatic. It's not being promoted. Because we've already been seeded with the program, the wetware, through all the metal in the air. You see, it's a big, big program. It's not this, oh, let's present this idea. It's not an isolated incident. You human don't even live in 100 years. They, the controllers, and the watchers are watching. And we're going to get to them too. Thousands, if not five, ten thousands of years. And here's the other fucking weird thing. I know people, okay, I'm going to say it. 
Jeffrey Epstein's body was um, inhabited by a creature that left when a male visitor came to see him, and his body was killed, but the creature went into the other guy. Okay? That's how it went down. End of story. Nobody else said this. I'm the first person, and I'm the last person that will say that again. Isn't it a great storyline for writers? Write that. That the entity was in the body of the person. That entity then was able to transmit energy and somehow the body was killed, even though the guy was really tall, he hung himself from the small cell, from material that was from where? You figure it out. I'd say it's pretty sci-fi to me. So sci-fi writers, that's how you would write it. The Epstein character had a entity that then passed on to the unspecified, nondescript, non-identified male because yes the entity went into him our planet still has a ruling the Epstein body died even though Epstein's still alive uh huh yeah as is Marilyn Monroe wasn't murdered Uh-huh. Epstein's not alive, but the entity is. And Marilyn Monroe was murdered. Do I have to spell it out like that? So, back to lightness. You guys, massage your necks more often. Okay, I'm going to read the Watchers. And I'm first going to... Um, Introduce that by saying that when I was a girl, very, I was um, kindergartner, uh, I was a kindergartner, and I was all by myself, and my mother taught kindergarten, but not my class. There were two classes in my town of 20-something students. That's how small the classes were. And the kindergarten was held in the church, but it wasn't religious because that was the only place that you could actually rent. And I started off in her room, but I was traded for Eric Lepinen, who was a hellraiser, and Mrs. Wilkins couldn't handle him. So I went to her class. And I liked her class for many different reasons. And one of them was that it was a wooden floor. And I felt more energized there. Whereas my mother's side had a, it was the newer side, and it had, it was nicely lit um, with the light. But kindergarten only lasted so long, and, and we were going to get to be able to go home and play well before the school ch children got let out. So I wasn't so concerned about that. Um, and it had the hard, the hard cement floors. So I remember as a child already being able to sense the energy. I got traded because Mrs. Okay, this is stuck. Mrs. Wilkins couldn't, she was an old lady. She couldn't manage well. And Eric Lepinen, who's still alive today. Hey, Eric. He, um, <laughs> oh, forget it. Okay, we're not going to do it. We're going to do it another time. Okay, what these are, um, Moldavite, um, Labradorite, <coughs> Q-Link. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but you have to program it. So I'm working on creating a meditation for myself where I can program this into being a Merkaba. And then also a gold light shield. You know, <sighs> I love things like this. Let's read the Watchers. 
In summation to the last part, I believe people are being distracted from life, which is by their entertainment, which is taken away. You can no longer plan a parade. You can no longer um, go to a sporting event. And, and You can't even go to an Ellen DeGeneres show right now. An Ellen DeGeneres show? You can't go to one. You can't go to an Ellen DeGeneres show. Isn't that terrible? Now we'll have to hear the canned laughter without the audience. She is pretty funny, though. I think her height, height of fame for me came um, as um, the fish in um, Saving Elmo, Saving Nemo. The fish, it wasn't the fish named Wanda. That was a completely different movie. The one that could speak whale. <laughs> I didn't know who Ellen was. And when I heard Saving Elmo, Saving, saving Nemo. Elmo was a red furry thing from Sesame Street. <laughs> okay. Saving Nemo. And she was a forgetful fish. And the jellyfish, you know, and all of that, and seeing she, <gasps> she's on her side, and it's very sad, and kids start crying at that point. And I'm like, why did she have to die? That clownfish, if he only hadn't been so impatient. Um, and then she comes back to life. You, my friends, have the power to come back to life in this time period of lack of public distraction. Can't go to the parade. Talk to your husband. Talk to your wife. Talk to your kids. Wow! Um, don't name it. Those of you that are at a certain level, you're going to understand certain things. Don't name it means if you name it, it has black magic. So let's read from the black magic book, shall we? Uh, it's not black magic, it's Wiccan. And Wiccan um, bo goes both ways. And um, by the way, during the witch hunts, the black magicians were allowed to live. The white witches were killed. The white witches that provided herbal remedies. If you had herbal remedies, the Spanish flu happened because there were no herbalists. My friends, this is another effing snow job on humanity that says to us, there is a germ bigger than you. Oh, and by the way, not only is it bigger than you, the human species has never seen it before. It doesn't know what to do. It's completely inequipped. It's like when the Indians were introduced. Okay. <sighs> smallpox. Okay. Smallpox blankets. Inoculus. Smallpox. The small. We're handed out. So, oh. there's so many layers to this. The most important thing to see is that humanity. In, in spite of and because of this interruption in their day to day, I'm becoming aware something's not quite right here. So, we are coming up on the spring equinox and we are in the seeding time. How will the year 2020 turn out? Will it be a year of like increased sickness and death of citizens or not that there's just either or or will it be a, a year that human beings 
recognize their humanity and their spiritual power. A year in which they can recognize that their ability to hold fast to the idea that the human body is a self-healing machine well before the machines. The human body is a glorious miracle. And it can self-heal and self-regulate. But you've got to use the executive order. Frontal lobe affected by circumcision. Frontal lobe affected by alcohol. I don't drink too much alcohol. If you do, you affect frontal lobe. Executive order. This is the CEO of your body. Mm-hmm. Command, Alt, Delete. Programming that is self-destructive. Use your own words. Do not... I'm using vague terms. Only do spells that are true to you. Only do spells that are true to you. Your spells and incantations for the antidote to like this viral attack on humanity. Don't name it. Don't name. Don't name it the official name. Number one, and then give yourself permission to delete it from your life. Be brave. Be very brave. And also be angry as f and fight. Because we are in do or die times. And what are you going to do? Die or do? So, we are coming up upon spring equinox. Spring equinox is equal to equal night. Right now, the darkness still has the power because there's a lot more of it. And they've seeded us with this fucking virus. Well, not the fucking virus. But this um, thing. What do we get to do? Seeds of light. What do we get to do? We get to focus on our intentions. Focus on your gardens. Recognize... 2020, March specifically, as a most magnificent thing because soon we'll have Aries and we'll be in a new astrological year. The new year, January 1st, is only the new year by a calendar. But the true new year, um, astrologically, happens in Aries. Aries the ram. Rams it in. Um... And the pagan, mythological, Irish, whatever, I can't know, I don't know yet. Um, they started in bulk on February 1st. Um, Groundhog Day um, marks it for the Western calendar. So, this is what I'm saying to you during my half an hour talk show. Is that we have the power to steer the course of our own story. And it doesn't have to be his story anymore. Again, it doesn't have to be his dream. It can be your story and the story that you are part of and the story that you are a community of. Okay? So, um, when I was a kid, I remember having watchers, and I, 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 I've had some recall of my past lives, but not much, because I, I really don't want to go back into past lives. Like, learn and, and be done. Um, who wants to go through it? Like, this lifetime's hard enough, right? So, I'm going to read this word for word. We're hitting the 2933. In this stellar mythos, the watchers were gods who guarded the heavens and the earth. Their nature, as well as their rank, 
was altered by the successive lunar and solar cults, which replaced the stellar cults. Eventually, the Greeks reduced them to the gods of the four winds and the Christians to principalities of the air. This is badly written. Sorry, that was my aside. As I continue, their connection with the stars is vaguely recalled in the Christian concept of heavenly angels. Uh, this is where it's important, because this person writing this book is naive. In the early stellar cults of Mesopotamia, okay, in Mesopotamia, they didn't have a religion. They actually acknowledged the forces of nature as sustenance. In the early stellar, S-T-E-L-L-A-R, cults of, won't we say cultures? Like, fuck you, cults. This person's like half, she's doing her best, she really is. She changed her name to Raven, and her last name is Gramasi. I mean, come on. Anyway, she did a good job, she wrote a book. Okay, in the early stellar cults of Mesopotamia, there were four royal stars known as lords, which were called the Watchers. Each one of these stars ruled over one of four cardinal points common to astrology. This particular system would date from approximately 3,000 before the fucking Christ was born. The star Aldebaran, when it marked the vernal equinox, were not there, held the position of watcher of the east. Uh, Regulus, marking the summer solstice, was watcher of the south. Antares, oh, marking the autumnal equinox, was watcher of the west. And the winter solstice was washer of the north. Um, what are we in now? The watcher of the east, Regalus? Okay, the star... These. Okay, this isn't written well. What's the spring equinox? Like, Let's figure out what that is. Like, maybe like they could cro cross-reference it. Am I, am I wishing too much? Okay, spring equinox. The celebration of the return of spring among Wiccans is a time to welcome the return of the goddess from her sojourn from the under blah, 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 blah. The vernal equinox was the first day of the, spr of the spring. Okay. The vernal equinox marks the first day of spring. Well, that's where they got it wrong. The first day of new life is February 1st. The vernal equinox does not mark the first day of spring. She's really naive. Okay, vernal equinox. Okay, so the watchers. This is what's important. <clears throat> See what happens when you kill off wise people? Not so wise people try to recount it. Um, and that's what I. That's like me. That's what I'm trying to do with my pre, I, my past life recall with like whatever nuggets of like I can get. And the biggest truth I have for you today is like, don't call that thing the official name. Call it like, this is the latest virus they've thrown at us. It'll pass, just like all the others did. Oh, but this one's even bigger. No, 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 they're fucking with your mind. Okay. In the early stellar cults of Mesopotamia, there were four royal stars known as lords, which were called the Watchers. Each one of these stars ruled over one of the four cardinal points common to astrology. This particular system would date from approximately 3,000, in other words, well, 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 before they put history down and made this Jesus freak die on the cross on Passover, a Jewish holiday, and then give us a Bible written by Jews and tell us it's Christian. The star Aldebaran. The star Aldebaran. All right, look into that. <laughs> the star Aldebaran. What's that all about? The star Aldebaran. Can anybody tell me about Aldebaran? 
What's going on here? What's going on? All I can tell you is that part of me is like sort of into the shit that's going on. But I don't want the inconvenience of like not having food in the grocery store. You know what I mean? Or like an income because my parents, excuse me, but my parents, my, um, those guys will live forever, 90 and 85. Um, yeah, I give them good stock. You guys, we're going to stop. I basically wanted to bring to your attention that um, we are in a really fun and beautiful time period. Do they have even summer solstice in here? No, they don't. All right. <clears throat> this book doesn't have it. It has Beltane, which is May 1st. Oh, it does! I hope you're drinking your cup of cup and enjoying it. Because I've, I've been having a hard... Like, this one went straight to my head. And I'm still processing some of the things I said to you. And, like, actually you know, received, like, this thing's not working. Like, I have to untangle this. But in the meantime, I'm like, okay, well, maybe this is where it needs to be. We're all where we need to be, you know? Um, nourish your children. Please, no fear. You are capable of self-healing, self-reparation, but you're also capable of preventing any inoculation of this stupid new thing, the virus they've thrown at us with the latest, we've never seen anything like it before. We don't know where it came from. Yeah. <clears throat> Seed your life with beautiful things. You know, the old ways, they were really about following nature and connecting with Mother Earth, you know, on your terms. Connect to Mother Earth. With all your free time that you have, you're not going to a stadium filled with screaming fans. You're not going to parades and, like, get, getting yourself drunk before, drunk to the gills before 2 p.m. In the, in the afternoon. Um... Why don't you celebrate life? Why don't you celebrate the earth? Go out into nature, you know, rediscover it. So for me, that would be the takeaway. The takeaway would be less people are out in social venues. They're going to actually talk face to face, eye to eye, heart to heart, tete to tete, you know, and they can save their loved ones. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Because maybe sex is going to be the most interesting thing they can do that day, which is like, the kids to bed and they have a roll and a hay. Uh, you know, find out what it is that floats your boat that makes you makes you come alive. So whatever happens, you know, with our lives with this instant in history. It, I feel as though this is the craziest it's ever been. And this is my feeling. It's going to get crazier. But we can turn it around. You, me, those that are, are sane, <clears throat> hold in your mind. This thing is doable. We can kill it. And if you practice planetary tantra, of course you can. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you've got, uh, you got that on your side. Um, that would come from John Lamb Lash, um, the Turton. <clears throat> and that would be nemeta.org. But I'm not teaching it. Yeah, I still use that. Right there. I'm, I learned Reiki 
with Reiki, you hold it in your mind. If I don't have my hand held, Shakti Cluster app, my SK, <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, my SCA. Yeah. SCA. <laughs> If I don't have my Shakti Cluster app application on hand, <clears throat> I put it in my third space and I send it out. Yep. So, <clears throat> let's um, close our session saying that... <clears throat> I do like beer. Drinking al al alcohol to excess is not a good idea, especially now. The human being is what where software is able to unplug, plug, program, deprogram themselves, but they're programmable. And if you take a look at the historical use of metals in the air, water, cosmetics, we've been bombarded. You have the responsibility to clean yourself. If you don't, don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure you do. So basically, all of us have gone through some sort of detox. But if you've come this far listening to me, otherwise everybody else already checked out. Mm -hmm. So I pull card at 21. But I'm also going to like alert myself to a private card here. Um... We are in the power of three. This is when the real Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. This is when the real um, tri trimorph whatever the, the trimorphic body of Mother, the Earth, the Sun, and the, and the organic white light, the owl. The owl has come back in my neighborhood. I see the owl everywhere. And so when you come up against something that seems to be insurmountable. There are a few options available to you. Um, you can take a look at what's at play. So, you know, you can retreat. Um, And uh, how about this? Scale the formidable task before you. Actually take a look at this name thing and dismantle it with your mind. Do humanity a favor and dismantle it. Send it thoughts of dismantling. Send it thoughts of its own demise. Kill it. Kill it. Human beings have the ability. Well, we're going to watch as it takes over one person and kills them or whatever, makes them sick, and then they pass. Are we going to watch? Or are we going to kill it? Humanity has that ability. We have limitations only because we have created them by not thinking past them. Thinking outside of the box is fucking stupid because in the world of the ability to actually like kill a virus, there is no box. There's no box to contain that idea that the human consciousness can do that. So in your meditation, do that. Like you yourself, first of all, disengage from naming it anything. Never name it. 
but your own energy will understand what it is. So in the meantime, here we are. Let's seed the life and celebrate the earth. We are in changing times. This is all for the benefit of humanity, even though it looks really ugly and people are going to die and people are going to suffer. We are rising. May you fare well and stay in touch.